Hey guys, welcome back. This is Invisible Ink Tactical Espionage. It's a game from uh, Clay or Cly Entertainment. I actually don't know how to pronounce them. They're the guys that made uh, Shank and Ma uh, Mark of the Ninja, uh, Don't Starve, and they're, they're, they've basically been hitting it out of the park for a while now uh, with award-winning kind of genre-defying games. And they keep, they're continuing to be ambitious about it. This is a turn-based tactical stealth game. Which is going to be an interesting experience, I'm sure. Without much further ado, let's just hop in. Gonna play this game. Oh, no difficulty modes to worry about. Neural uplink initialized. Interrogation room. FTM. Uh, missing agent located. Decker. Brian. Initializing failsafe neural trap. Operator interface ready in 3, 2, 1. Operator, we have a delicate situation here. Decker found himself some trouble on his day off. Something involving a whiskey bar and his big loud mouth. He's usually better at covering up after such indiscretions, but this time FTM security got the drop on him. They noticed his non-market augments, and now they're curious about where he got them. I'd like to leave him to sweat it out for a while, but we can't have this coming back on us. We're going to break him out. Incognito has activated his failsafe neural uplink. I'm patching you through now. Oh, cool. Full voice acting. Wasn't expecting that necessarily. There he is. Wake him up. It's definitely welcome. All right. Decker. Decker was captured. Again. Let's make sure he can walk. Looks like he has three ability points, which is probably what shows up in the fact that he can move three spaces. Huh. Looks like it uses the rule that many games use, where if you're moving diagonally, uh, the first move uses two points, and the second move uses one point, and it alternates back and forth. So it leads to a specific pattern there. But yeah, I have three AP. Let's go ahead and move towards the door, which is probably where I'll be going next. Right-click to move. Let him catch his breath. But don't dally. They'll notice our intrusion soon. Play in turns. This game moves in turns once you've finished making your moves and your turn and the enemy makes theirs. So where are they going to come out? Well, there's only one door. Get to the door. I got this. We don't have visibility on the hallway. You'll have to manually check for hostiles. Okay, so he immediately had more AP. That's a good sign. More than he started with. Level 1 security door. Unlock this door. Locked. Need what level level one security password? Level one security passwords can be stolen from guards and only work in the faci uh, facility where they are found. I can also peek through the door. Let's try that. It's unlocked. Get him out and be careful not to alert the guard. All right, cool. So there's a guard right in front of us, and I can open the door right now. Let's go ahead and just op uh, open it. I've heard there's incentive. His tools should be in that safe. He'll need his neural disruptor to take down these guards. Okay, I'll just I'll just follow the, tut the tutorial verbatim for now. Trying to make too many decisions on my own is probably just going to get me in trouble when they're just ha hand holding me right now. Uh, corporate safe captured. This device is currently under agency control. Loot contents. Move next to the device to loot its contents. All right. Neural Disruptor. Neural Disruptors replace a person's thoughts with sparkly lights for a limited time. It's a taser, basically. A brain taser. <laughs> three turn cooldown. Knocks a uh, guard out for three turns. So it, 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 oh, so you can never use it to knock out multiple guards then, unless there's an upgrade system in this game. Good. Now approach the guard from behind and neutralize him. But I'll have to wait until next turn for that. Don't move? Yeah, he has no reason to move. Another slow day. Yep, he's just hanging out and being a guard. Alright. Sneak up behind him and wipe him the fuck out. That is some nice animation. I'm digging the, lo the looks of this game. Knockout and pinning. Units that are knocked out, KO, will wake up several turns later. Guards will become alert and begin hunting the level for your agents. Standing on a KO unit will pin them in place, postponing their recovery. So if I stand on top of him, he won't be wake he won't be on the three turn process of waking back up. But uh, I need to uh, proceed either way. I'm not exactly gonna get much out of standing here. Uh, oh, I can drag him Brutal, to a new. but effective. Proceed to the next door. I can drag him to a new location. Oh, and I can steal his valuables. Might as well. Hey, money. Probably need that in this game. 
drag body. Is there a place I can stash him, his body? Can you stack? Can you stash people in lockers? Is kind of what I'm wondering. Ah, uh, let's just get, let's just focus on the the uh, contents of the tutorial, not to make try not to be too creative right now. There we go. Yeah, that eight AP is definitely higher than what we started off with. Let's peek through this door. Nothing behind it. Open it up. Close the door to cover our tracks. If they catch us, we'll lose uplink again. I was just about to say I was going to do that. I've heard <laughs> on uh, Red Letter Media they jokingly called this a politeness simulator because you keep closing the door behind you. We're going to need power in order to hack their system. Jack that console for a quick boost. All right. This will hopefully be a more satisfying version of what Monaco, what's yours is mine, tried to be. That game was real time in four player and was pretty hectic, unfortunately. Ooh, I can zoom in for a little bit of a better visual for the audience. There we go. Gonna have to wait a turn again. This is bad because it means that we're getting closer. That guy should be one turn away from waking up, so we have to be careful here. Let's see, hack this to re reclaim its power. Let's take a look. Plus two power. That will help us bypass any security devices we encounter. Open door pe uh, peek. Peeking at open. No, I already, yeah, I already know how to peek through doors. I'm way ahead of you, game. Does peeking use? Oh, peeking does use an AP. So that, I probably I'm probably behind schedule based on what they want me to do because I've been peeking, being careful. That's a big red cone. This location is being watched by an enemy. What enemy, though? How do I know that if I can't see the enemy? Oh, let's just open and see what happens. Hopefully. Where is the... Oh, is there a camera somewhere? I'm apparently in someone's something's line of sight. Where is it? Oh, peek around the corner. There we go. I can peek around the corner from there. So I can see the... I can see the camera. Use incognito to access the corporate mainframe and disable their security systems. If that camera locks on, it'll alert the whole building. We need incognito to hack it. All right. Quantum AI construct. Hotkey he is, is space. Let's try to access incognito. Whoa. New program installed. The agency has provided you with a lockpick 1.0, allowing you to hack one firewall for two power. Okay, so you can use the two power to hack the uh, camera. What a coincidence! I just got two power a moment ago. Using incognito programs to break. Breaks one firewall for two power. Yep. Bam. Go ahead and get it back out of incognito. Camera compromised. Its eyes are ours now. Let's keep moving. Nailed it. All right. Let's keep going forward. Close the door behind us. Just to keep the uh, play the uh, enemy busy. Because he's about to wake up, like, right now, I think. Either now or next turn. I assume that as long as he's not on camera, I can't tell where he is. Oh. He's standing up now. Interest point security is closing on this location. Alarm is increased if the unit dies. I assume that means he's up and about now, so I want to I want to get, get myself moving before I get caught. Caution is our friend, Operator. Get into position beside that door and scout the next room. On my way to do just that. Maybe a turn behind you what you planned on. Recon point. Let's go ahead and peek. There's a guard looking directly at me. Distracting guards. Distracting a guard will cause them to investigate on the player's turn. On the enemy's turn. That guard doesn't look like he's moving. Let's give him a reason to, shall we? So I assume what I'm going to do is make noise, but then also... I assume I'm going to make noise of some kind, but then also... Uh... It says lure him out. I don't have any more AP though, so I have to wait till next turn, right? The... Lure him out. Huh. Does it want me to open the door? Did you see that? All right, he's coming. Make sure Decca is ready for him. Ooh, the ta oh the taser. Okay. This agent will melee nearby moving enemies during the enemy's turn. Does it happen? Do I oh I attack? Do I activate it with M? There we go. Okay, you prep the ambush, and then as he approaches, I'll take him out. That's interesting. I didn't realize that I could pr prepare to do stuff outside my turn. It's like the Overwatch function in XCOM. A game I've been telling myself I'll play for the last year on this channel. Nice work. We're almost there. 
Keep out of sight, and we should be able to get out of there in one piece. Do a little snatching real quick. All your money are belong to me. All right, let's get behind the door and go ahead and close it behind us. I don't have specific places I, that I see where it's worth stashing their bodies, so I, I'm just—it's uh, probably not worth the action to try. Can I can I peek? Nope, that requires an AP that I don't have right now. And opening a door I'm standing directly in front of is a terrible idea. So what I've heard about this game is that every few turns your your uh, the alarm rating will keep rising and enemies become more alert and more numerous and start patrolling around. So it actually really matters how fast you complete these missions. But we're in the tutorial where it probably doesn't matter yet. No one has line of sight of the door as far as I can tell. Let's take a look around. We have a console and we have a camera, and the camera's not in the way of the console. Incognito has detected danger around the next corner. Ooh, six power. Thank you. I should, probably should have closed this door, my bad. There we go. The closed doors will at least distract the enemies, especially since they don't necessarily know where I am right now. Let's see, camera's back active. That security guard has moved somewhere where I can't see him. Oh! This device is under agency control. That means it's mine, right? Does that mean that I can see whoever walks in front of that camera? Oh, that's neato, because it's fully lit up, so I assume that's what's going on there. Uh, we'll learn over time, I guess, to be sure. Peeking around corners. Yeah, I, I understand we can do that. Oh, I, I click on this. We should have enough power left for Incognito to bypass that hardware. Alright, I got this. Oh yeah, it only costs me two power. And now that camera is mine. Let's keep moving. The teleporter is just up ahead. Get to it and we'll use it to return to the jet. I think I'm gonna like this game. Alright. Enemies are approaching. Can I see it? Yep. They just walked right past the camera and are on their way towards me. They're looking this way, apparently. Although that's probably an approximate location since I can't see them right now. It, they're not, but yeah, that, that, that camera more or less confirmed that I can see where they move once I go through my cameras. Alright, take a look through this door. Armored threat. Hiding in blind spots. Uh, cover objects, create blind spots, one tile behind them. That guard is wearing armor. Be careful, the disruptor won't work on him. So if I we'll go have to, to use his blind spots to slip by. If I go to that spot, he won't see me. But it looks like the block. Yeah, it looks like I'll be noticed if I go right there, though. So, what's that going to do to me? Let's see. Open the door. I don't know. The, the game's telling me to do it, so I'm just going to do it and trust the game. Moving into enemy vision is dangerous. You said to do that though, didn't you? To go right there? Or should I just hide right here? Oh, I can slip around the- okay, I can slip right. You can move diagonally in this game, that makes sense. So that does bypass his line of sight. And does he move? He does not- he does not move, apparently. That'll make this straightforward. So nice of them to highlight exact spots where they can't see me. This is very Mark of the Ninja in that they're being very careful to make it clear that I always know exactly... That looks like the last of the security detail. Observe his movements so there are no more surprises. You see, the, the universally praised thing about Mark of the Ninja was that you always knew exactly what was going on. So when you messed up, you knew what went wrong. So they, they clearly detailed their stealth mechanics. And that's going on here again. Let's see, observe this the guard's mechanics. This is a very blind guard down here, by the way. Looks like he's patrolling. No trouble as long as we stay behind cover and out of his sight. Yeah, he can't really get past these tables, can he? But if I... Does opening this door use an action? Huh. Open door. I cannot reach out of his line of sight. So I'm gonna end my turn here. Hopefully not. Hopefully that guard won't look around. Oop. There he is, notice, noticing things again. Alright. Opening this door, walking outside, closing door, staying out of this guy's line of sight. So far so good. I'm around the corner, we should be in the clear now. Alright. I could see this getting really tense really quickly. Once you're actually, once you're actually in a more dangerous non-tutorial mission. Let's get out of here. I assume that's all I have to do to win? Yeah. We're done here. Rendezvous with Internationale and get ready for the next mission. We've got a lot more work to do. 
I'm definitely getting an, uh, getting a perfect dark vibe from the visuals. All right, our reward, uh, 500 credits plus 150 that I picked up. Net worth 1300. That's just my overall money. It looks like, uh, not like out outside of what I got from the mission. Two consoles hacked. Eight power. Alarm level zero, because that's not even an introduced mechanic yet. I had two alerted but knocked out guards, and two that I bypassed altogether. Uh, campaign generation. For players just starting out, if you are new to Invisible Ink, we suggest selecting this mode. Alright, and we'll maybe, we'll maybe we'll try it again on harder difficulties afterwards. I've heard the game's pretty short, so we'll see how this goes. Get to the main server, collect the data, and get out. No detours. Copy that, Central. Proceeding to target. Oh. Insertion was clean. Alarm level holding steady. We need to get to the third floor. We can make our way to the server room from there. Any chatter on the comms? Negative. It's silent on all frequencies. They should have detected us by now. Receiving They're on to you. Get out. Get out of there! Going to need an extraction. I've got incognito. Deckard and International are on their way. Get to the roof. I'll cover you. Go! Decker, how long till extraction? 30 seconds. Get us out of here. We've got work to do. Well, this is looking like a fun premise. So we have a bunch of... Uh We've, we've escaped from our entire organization being taken down. Only X number of agents are available to us. And we have X, we have a, a time limit on how much incognita power we have left. So we're, they, or they're kind of setting up an XCOM style premise here. It's to some extent on like the limited resources and a time limit and everything to get our, our mission done. Though we don't necessarily know the mission itself yet. So, looks like our only available agents are Decker and International. Uh, Decker has a speed boost, International has a hacking boost, it looks like. Okay. I have lockpick 1.0, power drip 1.0, I don't see the ability to put anything anywhere. Let's see. They both have, do they both have neural networking? Nope, they're different, okay. Decker, neural networking, allows agent to uncover daemons in adjacent object. Uh, can't install multiples of this augment. Over the years, most of Decker's vertebrae have been replaced with synthetics of varying quality. When jacked in, the jolts of pain allow him to differentiate subroutines. They both have a neural disruptor. Three turns. Yep, they both last three turns. Uh, he has modded cloaking rig. Decker managed to sneak this rig out of the building the day he, w he was fired from his last corporate job. Renders the user invisible until their next turn or if they attack. So one, once every eight turns, he can turn invisible, just sort of just stand still and be invisible while hopefully someone patrols past him, basically. Meanwhile, she uh, international has 
uh, wireless emitter using her skin as an antenna international is able to manipulate electronics at a distance allows the agent to hack items from a distance through walls uh, automatically reveals nearby mainframe objects. Can't install multiples of this augment. So she can apparently hack without even being in the same room. Probably within a certain limited distance. Okay. Brian Decker. Decker affects a persona from a bygone era as an act of protest against a world gone mad for technology. Quick on his feet and with his f fists, rumor has it that he's packing more augmentation than he's willing to admit. Like all of his vertebrae being replaced, for example. He was chief of security for KNO's California branch until an escalating love affair with the bottle chased him out of the corporate world. Maria International Valdez, uh, an ex, an ex airborne scout in the Free Cuban Army, Valdez was went under uh, underground after the reannexation of Havana. Several years of freelance action against the corporate interests led to a considerable bounty on her head, and she joined Invisible for the chance to pay it off. Her tactical prowess is legendary, but her, her conscience can be a liability on and off the field. Let's see, can I increase these things? Oh, th there's different programs. Power drip, generate one power per turn, passive, or... Oh, things I have to unlock anyway. I assume the same goes down there, yep. So I can do, right now I can break one firewall for two power and get one power every turn as a passive. And these are my only optional, my only choosable characters. International so. is one of the best all-round operatives I've ever seen. But she's held back by an unfortunate abundance of social concern. If used correctly, she's the bedrock upon which you can build a winning team. Just don't ask her about the plight of the global proletariat. I found Decker living in a bottle after his termination. He's cleaned up since then, but I keep eyes on, just to be sure. The 20th century thing is an unfortunate affectation, but I'm not paying him for his fashion sense. Well, she summarizes them way better than I did. I didn't know that I could just click on them and have voice acting happen. That's cool. All right, let's get started. It's 2074, and corporations rule the world with brutal efficiency. They hit you hard, and now you're on the run. You need to strike back, but you'll never win by force. Keep your agents alive with stealth and cunning. Raid the Corps' facility for tools and support, and prepare your team for the final showdown. The odds are stacked against you. You will fail, repeatedly. But each time you will learn more about your adversaries, with every restart generates a new world of dangers and opportunities. You will have a tough job ahead of you, Operator. Don't let us down. Yeah, I'm getting a very strong XCOM vibe from this game with, like, the random, somewhat randomized campaign, and, like, it probably has a very loose story that's tied among a bunch of randomly generated maps, so you're probably meant to play it over and over again. All right, I'm ready. Operator, are you there? Good. I was afraid you didn't make it out. Headquarters is gone. Most of our agents have been captured or killed, and our accounts all frozen. I don't know how the corporations found us, but you can bet they won't give up now that they've had a taste of blood. The Jet's stealth rig should keep us hidden if we keep moving, but Incognita can't survive long on backup power. She's got 72 hours tops. We need to mount a counterattack before then, or we'll be defenseless against their scans. If that happens, we may as well just crash this thing into the ocean. You've never seen the inside of a corporate deprogramming chamber. I won't see the inside of another. Incognita is scanning for targets of opportunity where we can replenish our supplies. Follow her leads and gather what resources you can. I'll run through our contacts and see what favors I can call in. We're going to need all of the advantages we can find in the coming days. Nothing new here? Alright, let's get started. That's freaky having time- oh wait, no, is it counting up right now? Uh, it's the seconds hand, it probably doesn't matter. Alright, so my options are- oh, that's our current ship location. This is very XCOM, by the way. Alright, so, 500 credits, 4800 net worth. Oh, cool, all of your agents, upgrades, items, programs, credits, invisible, ink owns, okay. So that's a good way of gauging your overall progress. The, the missions might even say, like, your recommended overall net worth. Oh, that's the Steam interface. I was hoping for an in-game in in achievement interface. Okay. Plastec Executive Terminals. Uh, takes 12 hours. Level 1. Wow. 
That takes 12 hours, I have 72 remaining. That's not encouraging. I assume that we can charge up our power somehow then, because it's my only option. Executives are notoriously slack when it comes to network security, and their terminals are full of interesting information. We found a lightly guarded executive complex here. Get in, find the computer, and steal their contact list. Then we'll have our pick of future targets. I could have read that all aloud, but it seemed like she pretty much nailed it. <laughs> Ready for transport. Bad news, Operator. They caught us completely by surprise, so we have no firepower with us. The guards' weapons are gene-coded to their owner and useless to us. We're going to have to make do with what we can find along the way. We've beamed you through the security grid. You should be somewhere near the target, but you'll need to look for it. Get the list and find a transport pad to escape. But be quick about it. They noticed a disturbance when we ported in and their alarm level is already rising. I get the feeling that's going to be a repeating trend, the whole alarm system thing. I bet they're going to be alerted every time we port in anywhere. Alright, locate the executive terminals, get out alive. And we can also steal credits. Which I'll do in every mission, probably. Alright, so... We don't even know what direction to be going in, do we? Not really. Let's see. What's tactical view look like? Click and hold to activate. Ooh. Just shows us a vague sense of stuff. So it's currently Decker's turn, I assume? I can't... Okay, I can go to both. I can control them in whatever order I want to. Let's see, let's go ahead and hijack this power bonus. Since I can do that without moving. Oh yeah, let's grab that one too. Let's just get all the power we need so we can investigate as we want. Decker, go ahead and peek out this door. Cool, you can do that around the corner too. So, we there was a safe there. I can hack with Incognita. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, one firewall will cost us two power. I have two power. Alright, well this one down here too, maybe? Yeah. Let's go for it. Use up some of that power we just un unlocked. So I assume I'm going to want to split up and take a look around. Because otherwise we're going to spend a lot of time trying to look around. We're, it's going to take a long time to just investigate this area. Unless... Can we even open this door? Incognita, take a look at the door. Yo, what's that? Let's peek. What is that thing over there? It's, like, it's a camera... Security camera in the other room pointing up. Can I hack it? There we go. That'll give us more point of view. So this area is being watched. This camera's ours now, so that's not the threat, but something else is seeing things. Power supply. This device is linked to the power grid N7. I can capture this with the mainframe. Uh, how much will it cost me? One firewall costs two. Yeah, let's go for it. Wow, we're quickly opening things up with this hacking power of ours. Okay. Something's watching that room, though. Let's have... Let's take a closer look. Uh, open this door. Go through the door. Close it behind you. Let's move forward one and peek around this corner. Ah, oh, there's another camera. Can I hack that one too? Alright. One less problem in my way. Let's go ahead and check out the safe. Might as well check out what's inside. 150 credits. Nailed it. Alright, and we'll peek out he through here. No one apparently in that room. Good. He's all out of AP, so he has to stop there for the turn. Incognita. Let's have you peek. Wait, you already did that shit. Uh, something is watching this area that I can't see. Which is not a great sign in any way. Huh. And I don't have anything I can hack. So I think I'm going to have her leave, actually. Let's have her go through here and close the door behind her. We can go around this area to the left and peek through that door to see what's, what, what's spying in that area. We'll see how this goes. Security level has now increased. The corporate detection incognita sig uh, uh, detected incognita sk signal when your agents teleport into the facility. Every turn, the security level will increase as they track her. New security measures are added every five increments. So right now we're safe for five turns, but then things are going to get worse for us. All right, well, this room's safe now, so 
Let's, let's send international. No. Yeah, let's send, let's use international for now. I want to go around the corner. Let's cl close the door behind me. My goal is to wander over here. And hopefully we'll get a chance to peek through this door next turn. We're in the movement phase where it's going to take longer for me to get around. Alright. International? I mean, uh, Decker. Open the door. Hide behind this block. Close the door behind you. Let's peek. What do we have down there? Ooh, a console. Alright. I can hack that for power. Is that... Security camera is inactive. Okay. Well, I have some extra power and I'm going to get more... I have more power and I'm going to get more from using that console, so I might as well... Let's see. Let's hack, let's hack this console. And from there, I might as well, I might as well hack this, uh... Let's see. Can I not hack this, uh, terminal? Oh, it's, it's inactive because the power is off, so without power it's not going to do anything. Okay. I was thinking, I might as well claim it anyway to take a look around, but yeah, I can't use that. Alright. No guards yet. Any moment now they could just wander in and we could be in some serious trouble. Tactical view. Hold Alt to get a better view of the map. Boom. That is a decent view, actually, yeah. Oh, there's a terminal we can still hack over there. Can you hack it from there? As international? Two plus one. Might as well go for that. Alright, let's get behind let's get close to this door and take a peek. There's a guard standing right there. Okay. Well, she has... Huh. The question is whether or not we want to go that way. I could lure the guard over and knock him out, which would be handy. But, is that even the direction we're trying to go in? Because I'll be alerting him in a few turns, which could be bad. Let's see, switch to Decker. Go ahead and... Is this door locked? Level 1 security door requires password. Okay, so I can't go through that door. Can I can I hack the door from here? Top this t t I can toggle the power here. Oh, but that's bad though cuz turning on that's turning that's that's just going to turn on a, a security measure I don't want to have ac uh, active right now. All right, so I guess I'll just leave. This was a dead end. Close the door behind me. Approach the next door, and that's it for that turn. Ah, oh, that door could be handy if, for all I know. Uh, let's check check the next door and see what's behind here. Because so we haven't seen our goal yet. There's, we don't necessarily know that it's even there, although it could be in that safe. Let's see. If only do I have? A, oh, there's a there's a briefcase in there. That could be, that's probably my goal, isn't it? No, I'm I'm here to look at the executive terminals, not necessarily to get a briefcase. Let's just. I'm going to try to avoid that room for now because it has an enemy in it. I don't necessarily want to have him in the process of waking up. Let's see here. Let's try opening the door. And can I get, get another peek out there? Or do I want to move in there? Let's move into the room. Wire the scanner. Corporate safe. Okay. We're finding those all over the place, aren't we? Let's not hack that until I think I'm actually going to get to it, though, because I might not ever make it to that safe, so it could be a waste of power. Alright, power... Uh, security level's increasing. Decker has a lot of ground to cover, unfortunately. How do I get out... Okay, you're right, the door... I'm standing right by the door. Let's go through the door and close it behind me. Anything to just interrupt guard movement throughout the game. And I can make it all the way to the door and that's it. All right, so he's 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 catching up at least. All right, so take a quick look around. Can I peek better? It's probably the best line of sight I can get right now. At least I know none of this area is being watched, right? Ooh, hello, console. Can I reach you from here? I can't reach you from here, even though you give me four but power, which would be handy. Let's try to peek around this corner. Can I peek around this corner? It's not giving me the option to peek, so I guess I can't. Alright, let's move a little bit more. Oh! Empty hallway. Okay. Let's take a 
probably just take a closer look. I'll, I'll use Decker to check out that lower room as she moves forward. This would be a bad time for someone to walk in the room. Oh! Those are noises I don't want to hear, is what those are. Okay. Let's get closer to that door. Can I peek out there? That's a guard. Okay. Oh, that's our exit, but I- oh. I need the executive terminals first, though. So, is there a camera I can look at? There's no camera I can hack in that room. Let's see. Predict this guard's movements. It's probably gonna come straight at us. That'd be problematic. Decker, I need you to find this terminal. It could be through that door, huh? I haven't checked there yet. Ah, it's so much... not the most efficient path, is it? Let's give it a shot. I need to scout until I can find where my goal is. Oh. Something in here could be important. Potentially. Let's see here. We're not- we're, we're not immediately dealing with that guard yet, so I'm gonna have international head towards the rooms she hasn't checked out yet. We have the exit, which is good, but we need to actually find our goal before we can do anything else. They've cracked Incognita's first layer of encryption. Be careful, the next alarm levels will be quite dangerous. Well, that's not good. Power drip plus one power, okay. So, so far there's no one in this room, so let's just hop in there. Close the door behind us. Let's see here. You found the executive terminal. Oh, there we go. We can get out of here. We nailed it. Uh, international. Can you hack it from there? I really wished you could hack it from there. Oh, I can ha I hack it from this, right? Uh, there we go. It's unlocked. Do I have to reach it in person, or can you hack it? Reach it from there. International can't do anything from there, as far as I can tell. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna have International... I'm gonna have her go up to this door. She's going to... Let's prep her amp... Let's open the door. Which should be something noteworthy for the guard, right? Where the fuck's the guard? Oh, there he is. Alright, let's have her prep an ambush. So she'll hopefully be able to take him out as he approaches. And the three turns he spends in that state should help us. Because he, uh, we should be able to catch him at that point. I just hope that I can get in, get this terminal in, in time before things go horribly. All right, he's just hanging out. Okay, thought he might do more than that. Looking at our cameras, no one's really wandering around right now. Let's just get that data. All right, sight list. Bring this back to Central to reveal new targets for the... for infiltration. Oh, or, yeah, Good okay. Job. You've got the sight list. They noticed you poking about and have changed up their patrols. Be careful on your way out. Alright, let's, let's move fast then. Quickly get up to the door. Not apparently in danger here. I was kind of hoping this guy would notice the door's freaking open. That's awkward. Although I can probably just run up behind him now, huh? Yeah. Let's knock this guy the fuck out. There we go. One less problem for now. We're on cooldown for the knockout. Let's go ahead and steal the valuables. Level 1 security pass card. Corporate employees are issued security pass cards to track and control their movement throughout all company facilities. They also provide a discount for the cafeteria. Okay. Handy. I lose this at the end of the mission, though, so it's only useful for now. And 80, 80 bucks. Not a bad thing to have. If I pin him here, then we're good for now, but I can't see things approaching. I'll pin him for one turn, but next turn I'll probably want to move back to the doorway where I can see if anyone's coming at me. And... I think with Decker, I'd rather not charge straight outside right now. Maybe I'll stand by the door, but I don't necessarily want to go charging straight out yet. In case someone happens to walk in that room, I can be ready for the next turn. Oh, there we go. That's a problem. Okay, we have a job for you, International. Let's see. You're probably gonna have to come up behind and help out here. I think. 
That guard's gonna be a problem too. Okay, so actually, Decker, you stand right here. You open this door and play. Did you see that? Yeah. Did you see that? That was crazy. You're gonna have to. We're gonna have to spend a turn ambushing this guy. Come on up here. Skating area. Mm, nothing. Come over here, buddy. Whoa! What was that? Oh my god! It's crazy. All right, we have two pinned guys. I'm obviously gonna have to leave the other one behind, but let's go ahead and loot. Gonna want to get that uh, charge pack. Weapons capable of penetrating corporate armor require expensive and unstable energy packs. Refills a weapon ammo or reduces an item's cooldown. Okay. I'm encumbered. Oh, that's a problem. Well, I want the money because that doesn't encumber me. Let's see. I can t I can become invisible for a turn. I probably want to keep that on. I don't necessarily have a use for. Yeah, I don't necessarily need a charge pack right now, unless there's another guard waiting for me. Let's get moving. No immediate enemy. Oh, not enough AP. Just keep moving. And I'll use international to scout properly. Let's see. Can I peek around the corner? Okay, so there's no bad guy in that hallway. So we're probably clear for next turn. I could stay and try to loot more, but for now I think I'm just gonna try to get in and out safely on my first mission. And be satisfied with that. Uh, do I want to run out that that open area? Could be in trouble if I get spotted is the problem. There's not even a wall there. Let's just let's just keep moving. Additional cameras activated. Additional cameras activated. You have one turn before they're fully activated. So this turn they're activating cameras. They're going to they're going to turn on next turn. That should include this one we saw in the weird room back here that wasn't initially turned on. Okay. Let's go ahead and yeah, basically just make a run for it. There shouldn't be any cameras in here, so we're pretty much set. And I'm going to use this turn to hang out on this guy to keep him pinned since uh Decker's not going to make it this turn. Oh fuck. The camera will keep making things harder for us, operator. Incognita has a program to deal with it. Did not know that camera was there. My bad. Did not spot that at first. Okay. At this point we could just move. What if I drag the body to the teleporter? Does that like that that's this is a bad idea. <laughs> It'd be funny if I could drag the body to the teleporter and just take that guy with us. It's like you're ours now, suck it. Alright, let's just warp out. That executive had a very interesting list of contacts. I'm sure they won't miss it. We did it. Alright, that was a pretty clean escape. We found three guards, one was distracted and two were alerted. The one was distracted. What was he distracted by? I don't remember him. Anyway, we got out safe. Four out of six consoles. We, we missed, uh... We did not hack one safe and one security camera. Probably could have gotten more money, but we got out safe, and that's good for first mission. Do I get to upgrade these characters? I do. I have 830 credits, so I can increase his speed. Looks like plus one movement every turn. And then later he gets a bonus to sprint speed, which I don't necessarily know what that means yet. I can get, uh... One more power per console hijack, so hi I can make hacking worth more. Right, that's what- so that one girl's hacks are worth more than mine. Uh... Strength, carry th carry more items, okay. And anarchy... Steal from KO'd guards, steal from behind, steal 15% credit. Steal 20% more credits, and uh, Steel has more chance to get new items. So once I level this up once, I can then steal from guards that aren't even knocked out. Do they have their own experience, or do I have to spend them across the board, is the question. Huh. Let's see. I mean, more speed should be handy, because then I can just get around faster in general. Although, should I just upgrade both of their speeds? Let's, yeah, let's upgrade her speech, because she's, she's the slow one right now. Yep, it, it is shared currency, so that's it. 
for this turn, more or less. I could make more strength. Yeah, more items. That's handy. So he has a strength advantage. She has a hacking advantage. This is a good mix. I've re-established contact with Monster. His network picked up the attack just before it hit us, and we're working to trace it back to the source. In the meantime, he's offered to sell us some of his more rarefied stock. Greetings. I don't often perform transactions face-to-face, -face, but Gladstone is an old friend. I'll contact you when anything becomes available. Thank you, Monster. If we find their central server, we may be able to bring them down, or at least distract them long enough that they lose our trail. Continue scavenging operations, and I'll keep you posted as more intel develops. <laughs> 